A Christian theology lecturer has been sacked after he tweeted that homosexuality is invading the church. The full tweet said, Homosexuality is invading the church. Evangelicals no longer see the severity of this because they're busy apologizing for their apparently barbaric homophobia. Whether or not it's true, this is a gospel issue, by the way. If sin is no longer sin, we no longer need a savior. Dr. Aaron Edwards, who is 37 years old and a father of five, was fired last week for misconduct by Cliff College, a Methodist college in Derbyshire, following a disciplinary hearing. He is now in the process of appealing the decision. Uh, joining me now is Dr. Aaron Edwards himself, the Christian theology lecturer in question. Aaron, I've got a whole host of questions for you, but I've got to start with, what is sin? What is sin? Well, the good that's a very good question and one that many churches ought to do well to reflect on today. Um, so sin is what separates us from God. It's when we have contravened God's law, God's standards of holiness that he sets out and gives us for our own benefit um, and for our own goodness. And so when we contravene those, we are under God's judgment. But the wonderful thing about the gospel is that it, you know, we have the, the kind of possibility of repenting of that sin and receiving God's wonderful mercy and forgiveness. Um, whereas sin itself obviously is that which separates God. He doesn't tolerate sin, but he can forgive sin upon repentance. Uh, that's very good. I think we'll come back to that. But because I want to ask you why you tweeted the tweet, because some people will say it was provocative. Some people will say it's hateful. What's your uh, reasoning? Yeah, for me, it's it was a, an imperative for the time we're in a, a, as the church. I think that we're seeing a, a growing LGBT, LGBT agenda and I think it's one thing to see that happen out in the world beyond the church, but when it comes into the church, I think that's a time when those who want to stand upon the the orthodox Christian faith need to speak up and speak out and, and not allow the toleration of sin, because God doesn't tolerate sin. He can forgive sin, but he doesn't tolerate it. And so when the church, it, as it were, gives its blessing to God giving its blessing for same-sex relationships, as the Anglican Church did recently, uh, I find that particularly offensive as a Christian. I think Christians need to stand up for the word of God at that time. So that's why I tweeted what I tweeted. I don't think I was trying to cause trouble on purpose. But I, of course, I knew that it, it might you know, be a difficult thing for some to hear. But I think it's something that evangelicals especially, and really anyone who wants to stand upon the word of God, needs to be awake to at this time. Well, some would say that the gospel is the most scandalous story of all time, and it's difficult to talk about the gospel and claim the truth without causing a bit of offence and controversy. Um, Aaron, could you explain yeah. how hatred and Christianity are contradictory? A lot of people might not necessarily think that it's the case. Yes, oh, aren't contradictory. Why they are Did contradictory? You say? Because people will say that yeah, your yeah. views are hateful. Absolutely, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, so I, I think that people will basically see the, the conflation of... Um, a particular sin that someone might take as their per as their identity, and when, when you challenge that sin and someone's already said, well, that's who I am, it sounds like you're hating that person. And of course, Christians have long separated, you know, the difference between ha hating sin and hating the sinner. It's, a, it's necessary to hate sin, um, especially if you want to uh, honor God in this life. And I think God hates sin. It's really important that we make that clear. Anyone who's read their Bible will see that God really hates sin but he loves sinners who repent and come to him um, and say, actually, I have sinned and I repent of that. We all sin. We're all under God's judgment. But actually, there's a wonderful message of Christianity. It's called the good news precisely because God has overcome that in the gospel. Uh, as, we, as we'll be learning about those of you who are going to get to church this Easter, uh, that is what the story of the cross and resurrection is all about. So it's not a message of hate. It's actually a message that's good for you to, to, to actually overcome the problem of sin, which has plagued humanity forever. And so I think that's a really important thing to, to get clear. It's a good thing to hate sin. It's not a bad thing. Well, you could say it's a message of love. And it, we have a generation of people who have never heard the word no. And when you hear the word no for the first time, it seems like hate. But we had Dr. Ab Gavin Ashenden on a, me a moment ago who was talking about this situation with the German uh, bishops in the Roman Catholic Church. We've obviously got the same issue in the Anglican Church in the Church of England. And you're facing a similar problem with the Methodists. We will have to read a statement of theirs soon. But the, the link between all of them is they seem to think to make a church a safe place for people, you have to affirm their life view rather than challenge mm. it. What do you say to that? Mm. Yeah, I, I think I, I think it's a, a it, th those things are not compatible. So you can't just say, actually, I, I want to live my life however I want, and I also want a holy God to accept me, and therefore a church which 
uh, is an ambassador of that holy God in this world, whatever the denomination it is, um, if you're standing up for Jesus Christ in this world, if you're claiming to be a disciple of him, and especially if you're a leader, a shepherd of others who are following him in this world, you don't just get to say, um, can, can I affirm something that God doesn't affirm? You don't get the license to do that. None of us do. And so I think the issue we have in our culture, as you say, people haven't learned how to hear no. They haven't grown up knowing, actually, that that's, that can be a positive, a good thing, a good, good parental good, thing, even. It's good parenting. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, what, that's what God the Father is all about. Uh, Dr. Aaron Edwards, thank you so much for this. Keep fighting the good fight. That is Christian theology lecturer, Dr. Aaron Edwards. A Cliff College statement said, as confidential internal employment processes remain ongoing, we are unable to respond to specific issues at this time. And in a statement to The Telegraph, a Cliff College spokesman said, as a Methodist institution, Cliff College is committed to being a safe and hospitable place where those with differing convictions are welcomed and encouraged to live and learn together as faithful disciples in Christ.